Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Trendots. Where Charles Touchard has been replaced <laughs> for failures and overall poor management. And things get worse for the French as Germany joins the war. Excellent. Welcome, Germany, with your holy shit. <laughs> okay, YouTube. Um, I know I have to say if I swear in the first 30 seconds of a video or whatever, but I, and I just did, but sure. Um, 15 battleships, 7 battle cruisers, 24 heavy cruisers, 45 light cruisers, and 22 destroyers. Bloody hell. That is a that's huge amount of ships. <laughs> Come off it, Germany. How do you still have money? Oh my goodness. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness, mate. Right, can we increase tech funding a little bit? It's still doing a whole bunch of repairs. Right, I'm still content to wait and see if the French are going to venture forth. I mean, we're seriously outnumbered. Uh, I'm content with keeping the eastern mediterranean free of french influence ah yes now it's a world war <laughs> britain and germ well not really but you know there's world war one participants on the western front um britain and germany have declared war right we should get to see what britain has in a minute just little old italy stuck in the middle Although they're probably going to get pulled in on the Allied side. Uh, max tech funding. Good, good, good. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Uh, have Britain not declared war on us? No, they haven't. We are allied with Germany, so we should get the, the event that uh, allows us to go to war with Britain as well, because I would quite like to steal Malta and Cyprus, and possibly Gibraltar, if I can. But uh, Malta and Cyprus, more important. No, just staring at three rangefinders. Improved torpedoes. Germany's losing transports in the North Sea? How? <laughs> where, where are all your ships, Germany? You have a hundred and... Oh, you had a hundred and thirteen ships. You've only got ninety-eight now. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> Look at this. Enormous stacks of doom floating about. Jesus. Legendary, uh, <laughs> legendary difficulty. Certainly, I think it all continues. Aha! Uh -huh. A French battleship. That's more interesting. A Requin class. Interesting. Four 12 inch guns to our eight. Uh, 19 knots. To our 21. This is a Sigismund. This is a smaller battleship. No torpedo tubes. Hmm. 20 million. They're cheap. 20 million? Really? That's, that's very cheap. You'd think they had something a little bit bigger and what why <laughs> what the... what the hell france what is that <laughs> it's 1910 you shouldn't be using that game start oh yeah i'm gonna build something really really stupid south west okay Mm-hmm. 
Mm. All right, Silent Service, good night. Thank you for dropping by. Um, make sure you check out Silent Service Gaming and Music on YouTube, if you haven't already. Where are you? Come on. I do like this model of gun. Like the 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 model for it. I mean Ow Stealth rubbish. Cloaking devices, absolute I know the weather's bad, and I know I'm very slightly bigger than them. But come on. Uh, victory at sea. Oh, I, I've watched um, Stealth playing it, and I watched someone else playing it as well, whose name I forget. It does look okay. It does look cool. Um, it's just decent. It wasn't quite there the last time I saw it. Like it was good, uh, and I, and I don't mind jumping into early access games, but it wasn't put together enough for me to like be like yeah I'm gonna get that so I'll, I'll wait a bit let's see see what it's like in after they've done a bit of development on it uh, hello there uh, uh, just gonna call you twisted <laughs> sink them all let Neptune sort them out yep the tabletop game no I haven't no. I've not played a tabletop game called that where, where are you this is not okay. <laughs> Damn Klingons. I think the biggest ship is over there. They're not even that far away. I can see the muzzle it's here. Like they're right here. Nine kilometers out, and I know it's bad weather, but why can they see me, and I can't see them? Seems a bit unreasonable. I'll be in range of my three inch guns soon, but I still can't see the bastards. Ooh, a repulsor. Now, there's a model I don't have. Uh, I love Primaris uh, infantry, but Primaris vehicles just. I've never, there's something about them. They just don't do it for me. Uh, and I know what it is, actually. Um, the top half, mm. yes, very nice. And then they have the grav sled things. I think it's the grav sled things that just that don't quite appeal to me. Cage masks. Cage masks aren't any good at, at spotting either. They have atrocious stats. But yes, I know. In theory, you would have a nice tall tall mast and you'd be able to see the bastards but this, this is such an annoying fight like, we're taking damage but we can't do anything in turn because magically they can see me like with similar sized ships I seriously doubt the target signature or whatever it is uh, the stat is significantly different And I know it's not particularly fun to watch. Where are you now, you bastard? There! Finally! Spotted about seven kilometers away. Finally managed to get the... 
binoculars out. Look at that. Straight away, 22% chance to hit. <laughs> Not that we are hitting, of course. There we go. Hit on their funnel. Yeah, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think they they do look cool. <laughs> it's just I would, I I can tell I would prefer them if they had tracks. <laughs> uh, and I could do a conversion, I suppose. I could try it. I could see if there's a conversion kit out there for turn them into track vehicles. I am a little bit of a treadhead, so I do appreciate, um, oh, they turned sideways, try some AP, yeah, it's not like high, high ow, it's worth a go, need more guns on the problem. need you to stop missing. And of course, as soon as I turn, he turns away. Oh, there we go, though. Nice penetration. Well, I think it was on... No, it was a main belt pen. Just didn't hit anything important. Now, that's more like it. <laughs> How we did 1,400 damage on the fun one? Got an engine, which they immediately repair. Now not so repaired. Uh, turn side on again. Uh, end on, I mean. Um, I haven't actually had a proper look at them, have I? Yeah, this is the experimental hull. It's because those are the side nines they've got. Even slower than my ships. Armour is actually not bad. Yeah, it's slow. And it has a fairly weird layout. Not the best way of using that hull, if you ask me. But uh, it's not a bad ship, by any means. It, yes, Guard are the most trade-air faction, but not uh, the faction for whom I own the biggest tanks. Yeah, the biggest Guard tank I have is a... what's it called? Hellhammer. Uh, but I have an even bigger one for my Ultramarines. <laughs> I have a Falchion Super Heavy Tank Destroyer. Expecting this thing to sink, firing HE at it, but it's uh, it's doing that thing that the AI does that <laughs> allows them to con continually manoeuvre so that you can't get 
decent hits on them. Uh, Dreadnoughts, well, uh, the closest, <laughs> funnily enough, funny you mentioned that, uh, Warhammer and Dreadnoughts, if you wanted that, go play Warhammer Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 on the computer, or just good old-fashioned tabletop war, uh, Battlefleet Gothic. Oh my goodness, yes. Uh, although they don't play like Dreadnoughts, they play more like Ships of the Line, because the guns are mostly down the sides rather than mounted in turrets. Um, although some ships have turrets. They are, in addition to guns down the side. <laughs> uh, oh, and some ships play like uh, aircraft carriers, of course. Right, battleship sunk. Just that heavy cruiser that is hiding in the mist. See if she wants to come and play. Right, where are you? Also, uh, ships in, well, Imperial Navy ships in the Warhammer universe have a considerably more style. <laughs> As they are gothic, like they, they look like a gothic cathedral covered in gold with massive cannons strapped to the side and on the front and anywhere else. Um, <laughs> and 40k ships are like ludicrous in terms of their scale and power, as you'd expect from Warhammer. Um, so that, that's Imperial ships. Chaos ships are obviously similar, but spiky. Um, and or pestilent. <laughs> and then you have... I mean, Orc ships as well are hilarious. Uh, things like Brute Ram ships. Uh, rocks. <laughs> things like that. And then... You have Tyrannids, which are obviously bugs in space, which is kind of cool. The Tau have a cool kind of anime-esque aesthetic. Just like their tabletop faction, but like, you know, Tiger Sharks, Manta Ray, uh, the Mantas and stuff like that. Um, writ large. Although they're not very good in Battlefield Gothic, in my opinion. Um, and then... Oh, fucking cloaking device. Then you have... Who else you got? Eldar, who have sails. <laughs> so they have all sorts of bizarre rules in the tabletop version of Battlefield Gothic. <laughs> um, very fast. And paper thin but really hit hard kind of your typical glass cannon faction Dark Elder are much the same but pointy uh, and then you have Necrons who are broken <laughs> both in the lore and in the game just completely broken just I'm over here now and I'm going to shoot you with my super guns. Uh, that's all the HE shells gone. Fortunately, they're just starting to turn around. It's a very slow, dull fight. I do apologise. The uh, enemy not not wanting to have a more interesting. Wow! Robo, 10 gift subs? My goodness, thank you very much. And that will... Uh, oh, I 
think that deserves celebration. <laughs> I'll uh, go and get myself a. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get myself a drink after this fight. Certainly need one after fighting against a Klingon bird of prey for the entire battle. CA is cling on. <laughs> yes, very good, Cumbrian. Very good. <laughs> they don't have a torpedo on the back, do they? Nope. Just on the sides. Eventually. Oh, very nice. sink. Hurry up, or I'll ram you. it is die excellent <laughs> yes indeed be closer I want to hit them with my sword prepare boarding yeah it's borders away good look at that 16,000 damage to sink a heavy cruiser and only 12 to sink a battleship why are heavy cruisers so AI heavy cruisers so ridiculously tanky I don't understand and how do I learn this power now uh, <laughs> France been fighting Germany. Yeah, they have. I think Germany hasn't been doing too well against France because I certainly haven't given away thirty thousand victory points. We've only, you know, <laughs> I think it's pretty even between France and Germany. Uh, yeah, we've got all got all that on the go. Five months because I got annoyed and rammed them. But uh, still, going, going okay. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Jump from thirty-three to thirty-seven thousand victory points. So the Germans getting rinsed. Absolutely rinsed. I haven't lost my crew pool, have I? Uh, 
However, France also <laughs> taking some serious losses. Look at that. 19 repairing, 10 building. Hmm. Do... <laughs> Repulsors are annoying to build. <laughs> uh, I've never tried. Uh, some some kits can be uh, pretty uh, pretty annoying. It's a British. We're not at war with the British, but there is a battleship floating around. Hmm. Three superimposed mounts. That's very nice. Still, nobody venturing into the eastern med. Well, no, there is a little bit. Light cruiser and a heavy cruiser. No mission trigger, though. My ships don't have great range. Um, because Austro-Hungarian philosophy. Prioritize bulkheads over range but looks like we're going to have a couple of fights in a second ah midnight shade can you build a very fast battleship with 17 inch guns and five inch secondaries i mean you could of course um not at the moment <laughs> we don't have 17 inch guns um right what have we got a battleship against three light cruisers and a battleship in a heavy cruiser against two light cruisers. Neither of which is exactly the most thrilling fight in the world. Um, let's do this one first. The Budapest. Yes. Transports as well. Keep attacking with convoys. <laughs> <laughs> the song Overland. Yeah, the, the game doesn't calculate land properly <laughs> anyway. Uh, which is how you can have, you know, your ships in the Mediterranean engaging ships in the Bay of Biscay. And things like that. Auto resolve. I, I I'm generally not a fan of using auto resolve. The only time I use it in uh, dreadnoughts is if you have a massive fleet that you're blockading your enemy with, and <laughs> the AI sends like one destroyer. If you fight the battle manually, the fleet will go home. But if you uh, auto resolve it, they won't. They'll stay on station. So that's the only about the only time I will use auto resolve. Right, light cruisers, three of you, eh? It's going to be torpedo dodging central. So we can get some hits in. Ooh, like that. Not bad. Was a pen, but didn't take out engines or anything like that. Oh, leading the target too much. Still leaving the target too much. Just, please, gentlemen. Oh, well, at least you hit that time. Turn. Oh, good hit. Good hit. And that cruiser is uh, going to be out for a little. I don't have to worry about her too much for now. Yeah, here come the torps. Bye-bye. <laughs> the repulsor field working nicely there. Mm. 
Milan sinks. Right, round we come. Cloaking device activated. Not for you, though. Good riddance. Right. Just the cloaked ship to go. Uh, I haven't really thought about my refit and keeping ships policy, but generally speaking, I probably will. I mean, simply because everything is so damn expensive, uh, I probably will be a lot more aggressive uh, scrapping ships, upgrading ships, and replacing them as Austria Hungary, but the, the big limit is the maintenance budget which can just get can just balloon to such a degree so i, I really need to build up the austro-hungarian economy because it's absolutely trashed here at the moment yeah i think that light cruiser has gotten away when it allows me to end the battle i probably will five minutes time Over here somewhere. Thirty seconds to show up. Oop. End. Victory. Goodbye to two light cruisers. Pretty minor. Uh, victory, but a victory nonetheless. I'll take it. And then we have the other fight as well. Uh, which is two light cruisers against a big battleship and the Wolfsburg. So it should be fairly similar. Uh, just join up, would you? Actually, no, don't. You should go different speeds, of course. South, east, so they're over this away. The strict bar. Much faster ship. Much more stable ship as well. To them. Now we just need to score a hit, please. At least this one, this battleship has six inch guns. A little bit more pope. Successful. And there goes one. Hundred percent chance to hit. I like that. Very nice. Wow, they're really just charging on him. Trying to ram me or something? Gonna 
succeed though. There we go. Yes, I, I have the small dreadnoughts. Oh uh, yeah, uh, that's our, um, not that one, but the Sigismund class. Yeah, we I've been using them. <laughs> they, they, they also have four twin 12 inch guns. Uh, these these are a small dreadnought. So they're, they're enabling us to have more battleships. Um, yeah, you, you, you're not wrong. Uh, see, <laughs> uh, I'm assuming Sea Wolf, but uh, Sea Wall 101. Um, yeah, the we're very much limited by our port size. And what what we can what we can build. So I'm probably mostly going to stick to battleships, and not and, and not much else. But uh, heavy cruisers can be quite useful. Uh, maybe destroyers. Maybe light cruisers. Probably not. Um, but I'll probably not build another heavy cruiser until I get the moderns. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it here uh, for YouTube. And uh, I will see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.